Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video, I'd like to talk about Doctor Who once again, and this time I'll be referring to a comment I got from the Ultimate Hero Smash, requesting on one of my recent Doctor Who videos to do a video about if Ten Two and the Ganger Doctor met, um, basically coincided with each other, and I found this to be an intriguing sort of, you know, uh, academic thought process about what that would be like, because if we go based on what we've seen, my first impression would be, of course, you know, with with Ten Two, the Meta Crisis Doctor, with the humanity that spilled over from Donna Noble into him. What we saw was a sort of clone of the Doctor, for lack of a better term, who was very susceptible to violence and vengeance. And this was what was very off-putting to Ten Proper of this sort of clone being, who he then hooked up with the girl that he was supposed to be in. <laughs> in love with, and uh, sent packing off to that alternate dimension. So, um, for better or for worse, who knows. And uh, with the Ganger Doctor, you know, the whole two-parter, that's one of my favorite, you know, episodes, this is a sort of two-part episodes of the sixth series, because I love the sort of character study that was going on in that two-parter, and I thought what was very intriguing was Amy's distrust of the Ganger Doctor, yet the Ganger Doctor was even more fluently Doctor-like than the Metacrisis Doctor would turn out to be. Um, I mean, in that he didn't show any signs of negativity of us versus them, like was the whole crux of that story and everything like that, and it's very intriguing to me the aspect of getting alternate and maybe unofficial doctors together in that capacity. I mean, uh, going all the way back to the 60s with Peter Cushing, to my hands-down favorite, Rowan Atkinson, who played, of course, one incarnation of multiple in uh, the Children in Need special, I think is what it was, um, Curse of the Fatal Death, as was written by uh, pre-new series, you know, Stephen Moffat. And that is an absolutely hilarious thing. I highly recommend you check that out on YouTube if you can find a Curse of Fatal Death. Just brilliant. Absolutely funny. Um, but the idea of getting non-official doctors together in that, si that same kind of capacity as the three doctors, the five doctors, the two doctors, the day of the doctor, <laughs> at all, you know, that's very fascinating in and of itself. But then you localize on these two, the Ganger Doctor and the Metacrisis Doctor. Once you get past the sort of, you know, getting to know each other and introductions and everything, I would almost have to wonder if the Metacrisis Doctor would feel like, you know, this Ganger Doctor shouldn't exist. Presuming that he would have some idea of what, you know, the whole flesh thing was, he might actually try to kill the Ganger Doctor. At least that's what I would think. And, and to make it compelling, that's maybe the way I'd even write it. I mean, um, you know, again, you'd have to break down the walls of the alternate dimensions. You'd have to uh, somehow make it so that the Ganger Doctor hadn't erupted into um, bubbling, gurgling flesh at the end of that two-parter. But if those things were able to be held off, I think it would have been very fascinating to put those two together, because as I say, you have Rose Tyler presumably traveling around in a brand new, newly grown TARDIS with this sort of Metacrisis Doctor, and that's fascinating in and of itself, but then you put him up against a future version of himself, whether he can regenerate or not, there's a whole level of, you know, question of what could happen, what could occur. What if they merge? What if, uh, by doing so, you know, regenerative energy is reborn or something like that? Of course, this is science fiction and fantasy and anything could happen. And if those two were to meet, I just think there would be tumultuous times ahead. So um, that's about the best I can do talking about this Ultimate Hero Smash. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and hope anyone else who is watching, um, you know, comment down below if you're able to post. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what would happen if these two doctors met in your estimation. And, uh, yeah, otherwise, that'll be it for me. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you later. Peace.